sure you know that we have everybody in the boat uh, rowing the same way. With that said, Governor Ron DeSantis proceeded to call for all members of the South Florida Water Management District to resign. The governor making a big move only three days as the state's highest elected official. The environment, an obvious early priority for him. Governor DeSantis also announced a number of other environmental initiatives. CBS 4's Jim DeFeedy has spent years investigating environmental issues, and he's joining us now. So was this expected today, Jim? This was not unexpected. Let's put it this way. Clearly that the governor was anticipated to make a move like this and he did not hesitate. Now the environment was a major part of his campaign and today he traveled across the state setting out an environmental strategy that is even getting the attention of Democrats. But the big news came late this afternoon and sets up a fight with Big Sugar. That we really needed to have a fresh start um, at the South Florida Water Management District. And so uh, today... <laughs> Uh, so today I have sent uh, correspondence to all the board members, uh, thanking them for their service, but requesting their resignations uh, because, <laughs> because we do just need a fresh start so that we can move forward uh, together, um, you know, as, as Floridians United. In a dramatic move on only his third day in office, Governor Ron DeSantis called on the members of the South Florida Water Management District to resign. The move came after the nine-member board, which oversees water issues, angered environmentalists and community leaders on the Treasure Coast by leasing land to Big Sugar that is needed to build a reservoir to combat the blue-green algae crisis. DeSantis had asked the board to delay the lease until he could study it. The district, however, refused. So I don't know why it was handled that way. I think that that really, really upset a lot of people. Um, but I, I'm committed to go, having the reservoir move forward. So in, in my in pronouncement today, you know, we're instructing South Florida Water Management move forward. The announcement came on the same day the governor declared a series of major environmental initiatives that break sharply from his Republican predecessor, Rick Scott. And I wanted us to be on more of a war footing on this and be have a sense of urgency. And so I think that's what today's executive actions really show, um, you know, shows a vision, but it also puts meat on the bones. DeSantis called for spending $2.5 billion on Everglades restoration and protecting water resources. That represents a, a billion dollars more than the previous four years. And so uh, that is something that I think is warranted and it's something we're going to fight for. Uh, we're also going to do things such as, you know, within DEP, make sure that we have a chief science officer. I want them to be talking with people like this so that we have the most up-to-date sound science at our fingertips so that when we're making policy. It's going to be effective policy. Now, Jim, there are nine members of the Water Management District. He's asking for them to resign. Have you heard from any of them? So late this afternoon, I was able to talk to one of them, Brandon Tucker. It's funny. He was actually at the governor's press conference. The governor doesn't actually know who the members of the Water Management District are. He just doesn't like the policies that they put forward. And Brandon Tucker said he has no intentions of resigning right now. He's still hoping to meet the governor, talk to the governor, and convince him to let him stay. Well, that'll be a good update. Uh, we look <laughs> forward to hearing about what are some of the other environmental measures he talked about today. So, you know, in addition to the big one, obviously, is this idea of creating a science officer. But he also talked about creating a, a more resiliency. Now, this is sort of a this is the Republican way of talking about climate change. Rather than say that climate change is man made and needs to be addressed that way, you're talking about resiliency. So he's talking about finding money to make communities, cities like Miami and other places along the coast, able to deal with the effects of climate change without actually talking about climate change. Okay, All right. Thank you, Jim. Thank you.